to Miss Universe Live from the Seminole Hard Rock Hotel in Casino Hollywood, where our top five contestants are ready for the final question round brought to you by InvisiSmart. They'll need to prove to the world that they can give a well-thought-out answer and speak with the confidence of a global ambassador. Yes, they do. All right, here is how it's going to work. Contestants, when your country is called, you will then randomly pick a number that corresponds to the name of a member of the selection committee. Then they're going to ask you a question, and you're going to have 30 seconds to answer it. If you've run out of time, you'll hear this sound. Some might call that being saved by the bell, right, Slater? I mean, Mario? Top five are probably too young to get that reference, but I appreciate it anyway. Uh, I can tell by the look on these ladies' faces that they are focused, chomping at the bit to begin the final question round. This year, the questions were written by our contestants. And as always, interpreters will be provided if requested. Mexico. Please step up and pull a number. Thank you, Olivia and Mario. Y hola, Florida. Eight. Okay, your question comes from Brooke Lee. Hola. If you were the leader of your country, how would you have handled COVID with the COVID-19 pandemic? I believe there's not a perfect way to handle this hard situation such as COVID-19. However, I believe that what I would have done was create the lockdown even before everything was that big because we lost so many lives and we cannot afford that. We have to take care of our people. That's why I would have taken care of them since the beginning. Thank you, Mexico. India, you're up. Thank you, Mario. Should countries lock down due to COVID-19 despite the strain on their economies or should they open their borders and risk a potential increase in infection rates? Good evening, universe. Well, coming from India and witnessing what India is experiencing right now, I have realized something very important, that nothing is more important than your health of your loved ones. And you have to draw a balance between economy and health. And that can only be done when the government works with the people hand in hand and produces something that will work with the economy. Thank you. Thank you, India. Brazil. Please step forward and make your selection. Good evening, universe. Number one. Okay, your question comes from Cheryl Atkins Green. In many countries, women are still considered incapable of being world leaders. Convince these countries that they're wrong. Women are such an important part of this society. And just because we are not encouraged in the same way that men are, we, are have, we have our potential wasted. The world needs women contributions because we came for some reason. And I invite every woman to understand that we are the leaders of our lives. And yes, we can do a lot for our communities. So please take your power. Thank you, Brazil. Thank you. Dominican Republic, please make your pick. Mm, 
number seven. Right. Number seven, your question will be coming from Christine Duffy. The night she won Miss Universe, Zosie Tunzi explained the importance of teaching leadership to young girls. How would you do that as Miss Universe? La noche que ganó Miss Universo, Sosi explicó la importancia de enseñar liderazgo a las chicas jóvenes. Si tú ganas Miss Universo, ¿cómo harías eso? Buenas noches. Gracias por la pregunta. Good night. Thank you for the question. Vengo de una familia completamente llena de mujeres. I come from a family completely filled with women. De las cuales me he impulsado para ayudarlas hoy día of which have helped me, propelled me to help them today. Trabajando con mi organización Sin Fines de Lucro, Orfanato Niños de Cristo. Working with my non-profit, uh, Fines de Cristo. Entiendo que no tengo que tener un título para ayudar a todas aquellas niñas necesitadas a enseñarles cómo ser líder. I understand that I don't need a title to be able to help others and to be able to support them. Gracias. Thank you. Thank you, Dominican Republic. Peru, the choice is yours. Number two. All right, number two, your question is coming from Zuleika Rivera. Miss Peru, what would you say to the women watching tonight who are currently experiencing sexual or domestic abuse? I will tell them that I admire their strength, that they're survivors, and that I've been there too. I became the hero of my own story. That's why I advocate to save little girls from being victims, they're survivors, they're heroes. They have the power and don't ever, ever make anyone silence your voice. Thank you, Peru. Great answers, ladies. Wow, just